this tree. I can show you the top of the tree. It's kind of even bending. Oh, they love to leave me and go to the river as if they can take a quick bath here in the creek. I'm trying to clear all this debris, but all the things we can use as wood chips or four wood chips. Hmm. This part here in the back is what we call the pasture. Hmm. It's just like a patch of grass in the middle of the woods. And around here is our little pet cemetery that I love this area so much. That's why we decided to bury, bury them here because such a peaceful so right here in this area so when I was telling you about where I come to visit the pets we lost and I just listen if you can hear the river I don't know if the birds are drowning it. But these are our oldest trees. If you look at it, it's, uh, maybe it doesn't look as ginormous, but let me show you how my hand will fit in one of these <laughs> ridges. That's how big this is. Can't see the top. She loves our creek. Taking her for a walk is taking her for a bath. And we're only, I think, 68 degrees. Can you say hi to the boys? Hi, boys. You guys made a mess. Not a kitten, definitely not a kitten. You're not a kitten either. Kitten! Carrot! Carrot, carrot! Where's carrot? Girls. 
Carrot's crying. Where is he? Carrot! Dot Duck is eating little bugs. So what she does is she moves her legs like that, lifts the sand, uh, the bottom, and then she goes down and gets the little bugs and things. But I have no idea how she knows they're there, but she's eating. I guess having a creek really pays off. <laughs> they get the feed for laying and then they get the extra protein that they get for themselves. And she'll spend hours doing this. Here comes the rest. They're all like, okay, we came. Hello, let's hunt. And then it's a trusty border collie. He's upset with her. Because she is uh, bring the, bringing them to the creek. Like, she wants them all together. So even if they spread in, like, different... Um, like different clusters of ducks she just wants to make sure they're all together she doesn't like them when they just wander like that no she'll go get them and he is my lone survivor I call him because he likes to go and explore by himself and she hates that don't you Cookie you just don't like it huh yes like I don't want to go with them but if I must both getting their bugs good job girls good job girls those were those are sisters from the last um, time that the dogs hatched which was last year and I'm hoping that they're not hiding <gasps> look at this everyone is gathering around the creek what is this <sighs> look this, he is looking for hope oh, what is he doing is he going to drink water my husband is so scared that he is going to try to attack the ducks but I'm not too worried because I know that this one will chase him away. She won't hurt him, but she will chase him away. Now, Carrot's best friend is Hope. And you can see he's going for her. It's like, hi, friend. And everyone thinks that she's mean to him because she chases him. But that's how they play. Look, look, look. They're playing she just uh, plays like you know she goes really close to him and makes a lot of noise and moves the ground and you know she's gonna attack him but he knows she's playing oh. he likes that and then whenever she's ready he'll run now Gookie over there she's jealous because nobody wants to play with her because she's an old lady, 14 year old border collie who thinks that she's one. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is a circus. I cannot come and sit by the creek to admire my dogs because, I mean, and my great Bernice would have been here if he was aware. I love his tail. Look at him. He's like, come and get my tail. Come, come here, carrot. Carrot.
carrot, carrot. Come here, love. It's like I have to get rid of Hope first. She wants to play. Oh, he, he comes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and now Cookie wants to chase Hope because she she doesn't want her to chase the kitty but she doesn't understand that they're playing <laughs> you're a man of the woods kitty those two are best friends Look at him. You're so handsome, Carrot. Did you ever think you were going to live in the woods? He's always trying to chase the birds, but he never catches them. Oh, look at those goldies. They're going to start crying once they realize that I'm here and they're not. I'm going to drink water in the meantime. Can I just tell you how beautiful you are? You're so pretty. Sun is kind of messing things up. You're such a pretty lady. Oh, she always pees for the camera. There they all are. I put the stems of the alfalfa that the babies don't eat at night. They eat the flowers. Oh, here come my sweet Clarita. Hi, sweet girl. Oh, bless you. Are you drinking water? Ugh. So, um, I put the stems over there in that, in any container. Oh, they want more water, I think. I think it's out. So, the moms would eat it, but then the babies get jealous and then they <laughs> end up all eating it. They're drinking so much water, especially the babies. Look at Dom Jr. He's such a handsome man. Handsome like his daddy. You too. You're very beautiful. Did you know that? You look so mean. Why'd you put that face? Hopity. Hopity. You're pretty. You're pretty. Like I know. Thanks. And that is Clara's boy. He's such a creep. He goes behind my legs when I'm trying to get the hay. And he's always like scratching my ankles. This is what happens when they get drunk in the sun. They start falling asleep plus they're standing up. Soon enough they'll be done eating. And they'll come and poop. They already started after I cleaned this whole thing in the morning. But the patio is actually for them, so not for me. Try to keep that in mind. Here comes Marshmallow. She is a wild one. I'm so proud of her. She was the one that was born, and I wasn't sure she was alive. Annie's little girl. And look at her. She's the feistiest of them all. But she's the youngest. Listen to the birds. This is the time of the year. Oh, and this is Briere's black boy. And how can I tell? Because of that little tip, white tip on his tail. Well, also because of their body, but if you can tell the difference between the black boys, Briere's has a white tip. And Mocha's, he has a lot more white. Smoke us. <laughs> He's so cute and he is so sweet. And that's his brother. Well, the black boy's brother, Reese. Kid, look. Just like, leave me alone. And that's Clarita telling me that she wants love. Look at the belly. Girlfriend. Tomorrow is uh, the day that I'm going to check their weights after a week. So, we'll, I'll report back. 
in a different video about she was exactly six pounds last week after she went through that scouring. So I'm glad that she looks like she's eating a lot. You can see their demeanor by their tail. Can you see how they have their tails up? When they have that tail between their legs and they're not as straight, then that's when you should worry. Here comes Manly Man. I'm sorry, there's poop over there. It just bothers me, but I'm sure you're used to it if you have goats. I need to bring, bring the blower and just blow the whole thing into a pile. Go look at them. Clarita doesn't seem like the same goat from a week ago. She's like, I'm sure she gained at least a pound. Maybe not, but we'll see tomorrow. And that is the picture of an, or an Oregonian. The second the sun is out, she's outside in the sun. A true Oregonian. I also wanted to show you my strawberries. I don't know if I showed them in a video before, but if not, you're getting an update this weekend. These are some plants that somebody gave me. And you know, they're really happy. They were dying at the time that they were given to me. So pretty happy about that. Not only they are surviving, thriving, but look, little strawberries, that yellow part. This is strawberries. And oh, you can see here, it was really dying. And look at this small one. This one I pruned the heck out of it. And now you can see. And then this one, this is a different variety. I'm pretty sure. This is the seascape variety. I got it, uh, I think Ace, the hardware store, last year on sale at the end of the season. And look, I think the main difference between this one and the other ones, and you can tell by the flowers, is that these strawberries are way bigger, like nice size. And they're ever bearing. And then these ones are tiny. They're super sweet. I've tried them last year when I was working at that greenhouse. Um, they had it everywhere. And I mean, they're not too big. I don't know what variety they are. I think I know, but I'm not sure. And then over here, I took everything out. And I wanted to show you this. It's been uh, two weeks since I watered here. And look at this. Look at the wood chips, what they do. This is wet so I don't really have to water this much I mean you can tell by how dry the wood chips are but they keep the water in so much and look weeds can't really grow here I mean they could look at this but it's like maybe around the bed but not really and this bed doesn't get any rain because it's covered by this homemade greenhouse situation so no weeds and um, as long as we have wood chips I have to water them I don't know once a month which is a good thing because once we get dry, I mean, once we stop raining, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. And by the way, that little plant last year gave us four strawberries. So, I mean, I know four is not that much, but look at the size of those strawberries. I mean, they're tiny, 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 tiny. So really happy I am hoping that they're gonna take over this bed and eventually um, you know as soon as they start shooting those runners and I don't know I'm, I'm sure this one's will because that's how she got so many and that's why this ones were 
100% um, neglected. But, I mean, look at this. Look at how many there. <gasps> Just... So beautiful. Can't believe it. Okay, what do I have here? I have a mess. Um, these things need to be watered before I plant anything in them. I'm still, I'm way behind with my seedlings. And I might purchase a few starts this year. That is rosemary that was dying and I brought it here. But look, look at the difference between wood chips and non-wood chips. This, I mean, it's still okay because this is 100% compost. That's why I planted it here. I want it to be in compost. I think there's a, uh, what is it? No, this is not it. I think there are flowers here. Put them in the back so I don't, you know, won't be stupid about it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and this, if you find this, it's called Miracle Grow Organic Choice. It's supposed to be for raised beds, but I use them to start seeds and it work amazingly. So if you are by a Costco, I think they're, I don't, I think I paid less than $5 for this ginormous bag and I still have that much. Okay, let me see. It's a 50 pound bag and it's amazing. I really like it. Even though I've been using a lot of composted horse manure for the things that are dying that basically the cold weather killed. And look at my blackberries. <gasps> we prune the heck out of them. The heck out of them. So much. I don't know what variety this is. All I know is that it's a blackberry. But somebody gave it to me and look it's really spreading i thought they weren't going to come back because i pruned the heck out of them and then i regretted it now finally let me show you my onions they are growing really good and they're not, I thought they were gonna rot because we got so much rain. And it does seem like they're soft, but they're not rotten. And some of them did, and I pulled them out. But look at how happy they are right now. And I have some greens for my eggs in the morning. What do you want? Hi. Hi, poor babies. They're just waking up from their nap. Sir? So I got them still here sleeping. Everyone else is being silly. I'm gonna check on Athene. Get them more waters. Just, uh, as you can see, the buckets are on the ground. And there's another one in there that is probably the same. Athena, she's getting closer. She is. 15 days away from her due date but she um, doesn't want me to check her a lot she's like a little bit overwhelmed or something she's just wondering what's happening oh you know what about? she's being such a bully um, see if I can show you um, her udder is starting to get a little bit more defined in the middle which is a good thing, which I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Well, thanks for being just by my feet. That's the one thing I was looking forward to. Um, hello, Captain. Hello, Captain America. Not you, Gaia. You're not Captain America. This guy is. Look at her. She's like, can, I, can you milk me right now? Stop biting me, my toes. Clara is so much darker. I mean, look at this girls are like, can we help you? Can we help you break in? No. 
but they almost got in. If you look at it, they moved this. And look, it's almost open. Don't appreciate this. Excuse you. Excuse you. There you are. Stop that. Nobody's going in. I'm sorry. Milking time is over. You guys will be milked two times a day soon, okay? Can't wait for it. Hi, Blondie. Hi, lava cake. Marshmallow, good to see you. Mocha with your cute baby boy. Gaia. They're still kind of upset because the barn is closed, but let me show you. I just cleaned the whole thing. Oh. I need to change all that. That's really upsetting, but uh, the lighting sucks. But I changed the whole thing, like all the bedding in here. Uh, so the parts that the light doesn't get looks darker, but it's all new straw. And the minute that I open this, they're just going to use it as a bathroom. So there's been... A See what I'm saying? The that last year, no, the the year before, Annabelle gets on whoever is pregnant, and she, it's like, I mean, she's fighting with everyone, but especially the one that is pregnant. And a couple of years ago, she did it on Clara when she was pregnant of a teen, and Clara had like really bad. 24 hours and she got over it but it seemed like she was in early labor when that happened so I been keeping an eye on them and I don't know just trying to see what happens but little Athene is a fighter as of lately now you can see a lot of her silver in her face you can see it around her eyes it's funny how they start changing colors as they grow older the rest is all pretty much the same but she has those silver spots in her face and i can't wait to see those babies oh my gosh i love you boys yes i do and i think you guys are so cute so pretty you want to say hi to the people Hi, people. My name is Captain America, and I'm losing this. And he just lost the other cap.